So the horizontal line test, I have to tell you what it says, HLT. It says a graph of a function F passes the horizontal line test if each horizontal line intersects the graph of F in at most one point. So this is a, it's, it sounds the same as the vertical line test, except the line is horizontal. That is to say, no horizontal line intersects the graph in two or more points. Okay, that, and what is it a test for? It's a test for whether F inverse is a function. The vertical line test is a test for whether F is a function. The horizontal line test is a test for whether F inverse is a function. Given F, you're looking at the graph of F. So if a function F passes the horizontal line test, then the relation F inverse is a function. That's the, that's the main thing there. So we have this definition that's closely related to this. A function f is one to one, written one to one, if for any pair of distinct elements x1, x2 of domain of f, f of x1 is not equal to f of x2. <laughs> so all that says is that each value in the range occurs only once. That's all that says f of x1 does not equal f of x2 if x1 and x2 aren't the same number, right? If x2 and x1, x1 and x2 are the same number, of course those are equal, but in every other case they're different, okay? So that's really what that says. Uh, thus, these are equivalent. I have, I believe, three different statements that are all equivalent, and it's important that you understand these and know that they're equivalent. One, a function f has an inverse function, f inverse, which we just call f inverse. Two, f is one to one. That's equivalent. Three, f passes the horizontal line test. So what does it mean to be equivalent? It means, um, so for example, if a, a function f has an inverse function f inverse, then f is one to one and it passes the horizontal line test. If f passes the horizontal line test, then f is one to one and, and it has an inverse function, etc. right? So these, if one of these is true, then the rest of them is true. If one of these is false, then the rest of them are false. So that's what it means to be equivalent.